Welcome everyone to the latest Coffee Break webinar by RIB Costex. My name is Francesca Nottingham and I am a Costex consultant in RIB software. As you can see on screen, this month's topic will be line mode, point mode and auto count. So we'll have a look at how you would use these functions within the software. For those of you who don't know what Costex is or for those who have never used it, Costex is a fully integrated measuring and estimating solution with universal applications supporting everything from hand-drawn sketches to PDFs, DWGs, all the way through to 3D models, BIM files, and everything in between. As we can see from this matrix, RIB Costex is available in a variety of licenses, ranging from offering all functionality to a fairly limited option, depending on your estimating requirements. Delving deeper into each functionality, let's look at all the components, breaking down how each of them are cohesive with one another, bringing you an all-in-one service. You have your takeoff options to start with. Whether you're using 3D BIM or 2D drawings, Costex provides accurate data, enabling you to utilize this data within your workbook. So our workbooks are just like Excel spreadsheets, but they are our own version. They still have the ability to use formulas and functions, making them very easy to navigate and use. We then have revisions tracking. Now this offers an accurate method of comparing a previous revision with a new one, giving you multiple ways to highlight, identify and quantify any changes, meaning you're always up to date with the latest cost implications. Once you've completed your estimate, you then have the opportunity to produce a report. Now we offer various standard report templates for you to use. Alternatively, you can customize your own report producing a professional quality output. Don't forget to check out our RIB Costex YouTube channel where we upload our Coffee Break webinars and you can also subscribe so you can get notified of the latest videos and kept up to date with the newest features and how-to videos. So this month's webinar, as previously mentioned, we will be reviewing how to use the functionalities of line mode, point mode and auto count. Firstly, let's discuss what this applies to. So this involves specifically in this video a 2D drawing. It can be any format and there is always a method to use to measure from it. You can use some manual measurement in 3D models, but this is covered in another video. When can we use this? So you have to be in dimension view in order to use these features. They can be located in the dimensions tab and you have to have a drawing selected. Does it work on any or all formats? So as we've alluded to before, there will always be a method to use on the drawing you're using. The limitation that you will face and the general rule of Costex is the more sophisticated the drawing, the more response you can get from it. For example, if you have a drawing which is essentially an image, like a screenshot of a sketch or something similar, you can still measure from it, but you will be limited to point mode only. If you're using a PDF with vector lines, then you can use line mode and point mode. You can also use our auto count feature on a PDF. Similarly, with a CAD drawing like a DWG, all features are available and are even more automated. So a couple of things to note. Uh, we will be focusing on 2D drawings in this video, as you can still use point mode on BIM models, but this is included in another video and these tools are primarily for the 2D drawings. There is some further information and a step-by-step -step guide in our Costex help guide. All you need to do to access that is either click the question mark in the top right corner of the application or press F1 on your keyboard. In this video, we'll be looking at three different types of format to give you an idea of all the different methods you can use and how to get the best out of these tools. So let's take a look at line mode, point mode and auto count. OK, so we're going to start off with point mode. Um, like I said before, you need to be in dimension view in order to make this work. So I'm currently in dimension view. Hence why I've got my drawing list and I've also got my drawing window. Um, I'm going to go to my dimensions tab up here, which will allow me to select which mode I can be in. So I'm currently in point mode. Um, and as mentioned on the PowerPoint, you can only use point mode on these types of drawings. So if we zoom in, we can see it's a very unsophisticated drawing. It's actually just a screenshot from Google Maps. Um, so this is actually uh, a PNG file. Um, Costex can host uh, up to 23 different types of formats so even if it's something as basic as this you can still measure from it. So we're going to use point mode um, and what we're going to do first is select the dimension group which uh, we can use to allocate this. Um, so let's go into demolition for example. We've got existing building. I'm just going to delete this so that I can 
demonstrate how point mode works. So we've got point mode selected um, and we can simply just point and click. So I'm going to start at this corner, move up to this corner. Okay, and just go around and I'm simply just pointing and clicking. Now, because this dimension group is set up as an area measure, it's allowing me the path to continue the measure. If I press enter, that will complete that measure for me. So point mode is literally just as simple as pointing and clicking. And you've got the flexibility of pointing and clicking anywhere you want to on the drawing. Also works on a PDF. So let's find a PDF to go off. Now, an example of when you'd use point mode on a PDF is perhaps um, a doorway so you might not have um, a line like here for example as you can see as I hover over that it's actually collecting the whole line there whereas I just want this door frame again on this side it's collecting the actual wall rather than the door um, so this is a good scenario in where you'd use point mode so if you select a um, doors dimension group then go to our point mode. Now, because these are all in uh, count as their main measured area for the dimension group, let's set up a new one so that it allows us to use length. So let's just call this internal doors and change the measurement type to length. Okay, and change the color, that green will do insert okay and here i've got my geometry snap tool selected which means hopefully you can see it's snapping to where it can find corners on the drawing which helps me uh, particularly with this door scenario so i can literally just point and click go to the end of my door and point and click again and there we go we've got my door uh, length measurement there now that's essentially point mode. We've then got line mode, which if I select line mode, um, and then if I find a dimension group which uh, is more catered to this mode, then we'll go into the conference room, for example. Um, there's a conference room here. Now line mode, as you can see, my mouse is actually clinging to the vector line there. So when I point and click, it will allow me to click and it's captured the entire line. So rather than point mode where you've got the flexibility, um, this is actually capturing the whole line for you. I can press enter to, to finish that um, measure. Um, so if you've got a, a good enough PDF, then you can actually use line mode in this, which makes things a lot easier. So once again, it's just locating the lines for me there we go. And again, press enter to finish that area off. So that's line mode and it would work the same for a length measurement. Now, if you've got something to measure, which is less of a linear measurement um, and sort of more of an object, then that's also very easy to do. So we've got our auto count feature. So if I find something that's more of an object, so let's go into our electrical drawings. Um, let's find light fittings and let's say we want to measure these pendant lights. So let's go into the corresponding drawing. So firstly, I'm going to show you this on a PDF. Okay, so if we zoom in, I can see my pendant lights are here. So these are the objects that I wish to measure. I'm going to tidy up this drawing using my layers um, and I'm going to invert this selection so that it tidies up the drawing. As you can see, I've just got those orange lines left. So let's go back to our drawings tab. And now I've got this auto count feature here, which is now um, activated and I can use this. And all I need to do is just press uh, capture here. And then I'm just going to simply drag my mouse over this image like so. And then a little thumbnail appears here, um, a little detail to basically describe to Costex, what you've just captured. Now, what we're going to do is press search. So 
what it's going to do is scan the entire drawing for anything that looks like this detail here. Um, you've also got tolerance levels here, so these bars will indicate um, how well you want the item matched. So if I zoom out, you can see I've got greens here, which are a direct match, uh, but I've also got some yellows. Um, so that is because my tolerance levels um, are set to these figures here. So I can actually adjust these um, and it will make it harder. You know, it'd have to be a direct match for it to happen. But if you lower that, um, then it will uh, find something that's um, sort of relevant. And once again, you've got another bar down here, which um, can identify a direct match um, or not. So if you've got some yellows, so here obviously it's a bit unsure because it's near another line, then uh, you can just click it if you agree and it turns green. If you disagree, you can click it again and it turns red. Um, but we agree with this one, so let's go to green. So click it once, okay. And then we've just got one more there. Okay, so all of my pendant lights are now selected. I'm just gonna press save accepted. So it's found 27. So it should add 27 on to my pendant lights and I haven't had to individually click there. It's just done an, an auto count or what we describe as an auto count for me. Now that's on a PDF. Um, it can be used for anything. So you could take a uh, image of like this, for example, or anything on a PDF and it will scan the entire drawing. Um, and find those items that are a direct match, depending on those tolerance levels. Now, lastly, what I'm gonna show you is um, another way to count, which is actually on a DWG this time. So what we're gonna do is um, measure some recess lighting fixtures. Now let's go to our second floor lighting CAD drawing. And this is just another way to very quickly um, do a takeoff. Now, these are the items here that I wish to take off. Now, we've got 84 already. They're coming from the first floor lighting drawing because that's gone bold. So that's indicating to me that that's where that's been measured from. Um, so if we want to capture this whole CAD block here, we can just use our shift key. And as you can see, that's highlighted that item. So I'm just going to click and it's counted as one. So my total's gone up to 85. Now, if I zoom out, you can see that there are rather a lot here and it would take me a little while to do that on an individual basis. So what I can do is actually go to the next identical block. So this one and use my control and shift key. And as you can see, it's highlighted uh, all of them there. So I'm just gonna click and then it can basically identify anything that's already just been captured. Um, that's a direct match and is in the same CAD block. Now, if I zoom out, you can see that it's captured all of those and my total has gone up to 195. So that's saved me clicking 111 different times um, to get that same accurate measure. Now, once again, this can work on anything. If you've got doors that you need to count um, or anything that is in the same CAD block, it's the same feature. So your shift key for the first CAD block and then the control and shift key for the second. So that is point mode, line mode, and auto count. Um, if you found this useful, then give this video a thumbs up and um, we'll move on to the next topic for uh, next month. And I hope you join us then too. So thank you for listening and I hope you found this helpful.